we are six days before Halloween and I've not started working on my costume yet, which is pretty normal for me. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do until um, about a month ago where I was kind of struggling for ideas and I thought, well, I have a Shira costume that I did a few years back that I wasn't quite happy with. So I decided that I was going to just fix it up a little bit. Some pieces were very broken. Um, I did it with foam core. Uh, it was very, very stiff and very hard to work with. So I decided to just go with foam and try and, you know, fix it up and, and do something interesting with it. But then <laughs> I started doing some research. Um, and I came across some pictures of Swiftwind, Shira's mount, her, her horse, her flying horse. It's like a unicorn with rainbow wings. <laughs> so I, I just, I kind of decided to go with an anthropomorphized version of Swiftwind instead. Uh, yeah, I'm that kind of weirdo, so I'm super excited to do this. Um, I need to do wings, which I've never done before. I have pretty much no idea what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. I have some ideas, like always, I'm just not planning anything and I'm just going ahead with it, so just bear with me. It's Something's gonna happen and I'm gonna have something in the end. That's all I know for now. I have a lot of stuff. Um, I already bought this one piece here that I'm gonna wear as a base. So, uh, the main thing is I wanted boots that kind of looked like hooves, but I didn't want to go into the high-end stuff. So, this is for later, so I bought these boots off the internet. They're really cool and they're really comfy. So these kind of look like hooves. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to paint them. I'm probably going to paint them gold, but I'm not 100% sure yet. They're, yeah, they're just perfect, I think. So I have these boots. I'm just going to take everything out. Swiftwind, when he's transformed, has uh, a saddle on his back. I'm not sure I'm gonna do a saddle, but the saddle is tied with like a blue strap. So I have this blue stretchy belt that I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna put it in the shoes. Here. The hair and the tail. I'm just, I have pink hair, so I'm just gonna go roll with that. I'm gonna just roll with the pink hair. No one's going to recognize this thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I have this very, very cheap wig that I bought a few years back. And it has this kind of same, like, purplish pink and some lighter pink. And, like, it's really, really cheap, so I don't mind cutting into it. And that's probably what I'm going to do. And I also have pink yarn and I'm probably going to use I'm sorry if it's so I'm probably going to use some of this like to do like extra hair I'm probably going to put some in there some in my hair I'm going to do like something that's going to make everything fit together I also bought some foam ow uh, because Swiftwind also has this kind of breastplate, the pink and blue breastplate and a kind of mask with the unicorn horn that comes out there. So I'm going to use this foam to uh, mold this like breastplate or whatever. So I'm going to paint it with acrylic. I'm just going to roll with it. And I also bought, okay, so for the wings, um, I wanted like these huge wings that were going to be like super in the way all the time and I'm going to wear this thing to work. 
So I decided to do just a small frame of wings for at least for this year. Um, so I can wear it inside and you know actually sit at my desk on my chair and be able to work while having the wings on my back. So I'm gonna work with this cardboard. Um, we bought like this huge tool storing thingy a few years back and it came in a box that had these cardboard um, like reinforcements in the box and they're really really sturdy and I kept them all and I do a bunch of stuff with them. I did um, a Resident Evil knife, um, like the combat knife uh, last year and I used this as a base um, and then I did Mod Podge on it and I painted it and it really, really looks like a real knife, it's really cool. I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna cut them up in the middle so they're not in this shape and I'm just gonna like, glue them together to make at least, you know, just a structure and then on that I'm gonna put like either cardboard or probably some some leftover uh, fabric just to give it like um, a little bit of structure and I am going to use these feathers to do the rainbow wings. I have no idea what I'm doing, so <laughs> just come along with me for the ride. <laughs> I just did a Google search of wing structures uh, for cosplays and costumes. Of course, the ones for cosplays are really more elaborate, so I'm going to try and do this. Um, I'm not trying to do wings that are going to be in any way mechanical or retractable or articulated I just want a basic set of wings that are you know just gonna be fixed and uh, wearable and not too heavy and yeah not too encumbering so I could do that I could do like a smaller wing like let's say this is my back Okay, I don't have that much of an hourglass shape, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is the middle back. I want it to go like this. wider than my shoulders, I think, proportionally. So I could start with that. I could start with measuring my shoulders and we're going to see where that goes. Okay, so I measured my shoulders approximately and rounded up to 20 inches. So I'm going to start cutting um, these, these cardboard pieces and I'm gonna cut um, this part here of the wing structure will be approximately 20 inches and I'm gonna proportionally uh, <laughs> guess what the other um, portions uh, could measure uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it I'm so funny So 
I'm going to do another piece like this, and then we're going to try and start assembling some stuff. Let's look at this and try and recreate that. Hmm, yeah, I need a longer one here, so I'm just going to cut another one to 20, I think. If I do that, the 20 is like here. Yeah, if I do that, I have my other part here. Okay, I'm going to do that. Hot glue is very, very bad quality, so it's already kind of coming apart. So I'm probably just gonna strengthen it in some way and yeah, glue that fabric, and then maybe we can already start gluing some feathers on there, or you know, seeing what we can do to. Because uh, they're they're pretty, they're much bigger than I I expected, so um, I might not have enough feathers, but uh, I'm gonna figure something out, and it's 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 gonna look it's gonna look cool. I'm pretty sure. I'm confident. So, see you later. Thank you.